Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video and in today's video we have my first top 10 favorite models uh, so um, I asked uh, I asked you guys on Instagram if you had any ideas of content and uh, you uh, one guy uh, British model Airways by the way go check him out on Instagram and YouTube uh, he gave me the idea to do a top 10 uh, top 10 favorite uh, models. So, um, here I am. Uh, be aware that these two models are not in my top 10. I just wanted to give you something to look at while I'm doing my intro. So, I got my biggest model next to my smallest model. Uh, so yeah, so without further ado, let's get straight into the video. And so, starting off the, the, this top 10 at number 10, we have this Tui Boeing 737-800. Uh, so this is at, uh, spot number 10. Uh, because I just love the model, uh, I don't love it as much uh, so that it can go up a grade, uh, but it's still a beautiful model. Um, the blue makes it very colourful, uh, and, and blue is actually my favourite colour. Um, I also really like the split scimitars, I think that's how they're called. Uh, they look amazing. Uh, the detail also, like as you can see on the winglets or the split scimitars, you can see the Tui logo. Which is like that um, smiley face that kind of like blinks, like does a one eye smiley face, something like that. So yeah, so it looks very nice. Um, and yeah, so uh, that's basically it. Don't have a lot to say about this one. Uh, just like the model. Uh, also, the mold is pretty decent. Um, and yeah, so moving on to number nine. And coming in at number nine, we have this United... Boeing 777-300ER. Uh, now, uh, this aircraft, this model, is at, um, is at, is at, in the top nine, uh, because, uh, it's blue, I love blue again, um, and I kind of have that feeling, like, when every time I get a new model, I'm like, oh, this is my favourite, and, like, I get another one, and I'm like, oh, this is my favourite, etc, etc. Uh, so, yeah, so this is a very good model. Um, don't really have a lot to say about it. Uh, of course, it's a white body. I love white bodies. Um, and yeah, don't have much to say. Of course, it's in the new livery. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. So that's it for number nine. Now moving on to number eight. And coming in at spot number eight, we have this British Airways A319 in the BEA retro livery. Uh, now, uh, the reason why this aircraft is at spot number 8, uh, it's because it's British Airways, I love British Airways, it's probably one of my favourite airlines, um, after EasyJet. Um, also the fact that it's a retro livery, uh, it just, like, it's just, it makes it a, li a little bit better. Um, the detail on it is amazing, uh, uh, you can see at the front the Union Jack, which is, like, the detail is just perfect. At the back, you can't really see it because it's grey on grey. But there is the 100th anniversary logo. Uh, right, right to the right-hand side of the British Airways logo at the back. Uh, and yeah, so the detail on it is absolutely amazing. Um, obviously, British Airways, uh, because I'm half British, uh, I, uh, I'm like attached to it. Um, and yeah, so that's basically it. Um, so now moving on to number seven. And coming in at spot number seven, we have the British Airways Boeing 787-9. Uh, so again, as you might know, recently got this model. And as I said with the United, every time I get a new model, I'm like, oh, this is my favorite. And then I get a new one. This is my favorite. Uh, but this one is, like, I have an attachment with it. I never flown on a 787. I don't think I actually saw in real life, like, close up a Boeing 787 British Airways. Uh, but, uh, the Boeing 787 is, uh, my second favourite aircraft, um, out of all of the aircraft that exist. And British Airways is my second favourite, um, airline. So, um, yeah, it's just amazing. The detail on it is amazing too. Uh, don't have a, a lot to say on it, uh, except for the fact that it's amazing. 
Um, Herper Wings really did a nice job on the 787. Um, and yeah, and uh, that's basically it. Don't have a lot to say on this particular model. Uh, so now let's move on to number six. And coming in at spot number six, we have this Vueling A321. Uh, now I chose this model for number six for my top six uh, because the detail on this aircraft is outstanding. Uh, it's accurate. I actually, you might think I'm dumb, but I took, like, I looked at the real life, at this particular model in real life. And I counted the amount of dots between, for example, the very dark grey spot and the last dots. And the numbers are accurate. So that is just amazing. Uh, you might think I'm stupid and that uh, I'm so addicted to models that I actually counted the dots. And you may think that because it's true, okay? Um, also, love the A321. Uh, the A320 family, I love these aircraft. Um, and yeah, so, uh, uh, don't have much to say, uh, it changes, like, uh, the livery is different to, uh, different airlines, to other airlines, like, for example, you'll have some that have, like, uh, like, like EasyJet or Lufthansa or the new Aer Lingus, they have, like, a stripe on the back end and their logo, well, the viewing is kind of, it's like a stripe, but, like, it goes from painted in grey to small dots. Uh, and yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, don't have a lot to say else on this particular model. Uh, yeah, it just looks great. So now I'm moving on to number five. And now moving on to my top five. We have this British Airways Boeing 747-400. Uh, now I chose this model because uh, for my top five. Uh, because as the more than 100% of you, like, for the 2% that of you guys that don't know this, uh, British Airways have retired all of their Boeing 747s. And I saw one in real life. Uh, if you go back to the start of my channel, when it was still a French channel, uh, I actually uh, did uh, some plane spotting at Heathrow, and I managed to spot a 747 British Airways. And I was like, oh my god, I love this aircraft. And I always wanted to fly on one of these. And then when I learned that uh, the British Airways 747 was retiring, uh, I am not going to lie, there were tears going down my face. Okay, I was really sad. I was like, I'm never going to be able to fly the 747 because of that coronavirus, because of that guy that ate an animal in, in Wuhan. Uh, I am never going to be able to fly 747. So because of that, I decided to put it at number five. It's not one of my favorites, but it's, it is still quite cool. Uh, plus, the One World livery is just perfect. Um, the detail, like the windows, for example, are perfect. I counted the windows. Like the first day I got the British Airways, I felt like it was a little bit short for 747-400. So I decided to count the windows at the top, like on the second deck. And the, the windows were right. And one more thing that I found out, like, two weeks ago, is that if we take the model and we look at the landing gears, uh, they actually roll. I don't know if you are a owner of a 747, but, like, look at this one, where my finger is. Like, it rolls. And I didn't know that. So, yeah. So, 747 uh, British Airways with rolling landing gears. So, that is absolutely amazing. Um, and yeah, so that's basically it, uh, so I'm very attached to this, um, model, uh, the 747 is one of my favourite model, uh, aircrafts in the, in real life, uh, and yeah, so that's basically it, so moving on to number four, moving on at number four, we have this TNT BAE 146-300, so this is a, uh, model that I won in a giveaway recently, uh, if you call the latest unboxing, uh, this is where I unboxed it. And the reason why I chose this model is because, well, I want it in a giveaway and it's just amazing. And second of all, if you look at all of my models, obviously you can't, but like, if you like, remember of all of my models, you'll know that more than probably three quarters of my planes, of my models, are all 
in a European white in a Europe white livery. That's how we call them. Uh, the only ones that aren't are my Qatar because there's that uh, grey uh, sort of stripe on the top. Uh, my two Flybees, uh, two Tuis, and my KLM. Um, all of my other models have this white European livery on it. This one, however, it does have some at the back, but it's at the front. There is that bright red, and it just like every time I look at my shell. At my shelves where all of my models are i just see this model because it's so bright and it just makes me happy it just brings color to airports for example so yeah so that's why i chose this model also uh, i chose this model because i actually flew on a bae 146-300 obviously not a cargo version i flew on the city jet version uh, from nantes to london city uh, it was amazing uh, but yeah, yeah. I, I, unfortunately, they retired this um, plane. Don't know when, but I think it's been a while. Uh, also, they stopped the Nantes London City route. Uh, and yeah, and that's basically it. So, really like this model. It like uh, gives color to the airport, except for except for the two twoies and the KLM and the. Two flybees because the flybees they they are purple like they bring a little bit of color but like the color is too dark. Uh, then the twoies do have uh, that sort of white European livery, like it goes like blue. It's kind of like a wave, and on the bottom of that wave it's white. The KLM has a white stripe uh, underneath. Uh, so yeah, so that kind of brings a little bit more color. So that is why this is at number four. Now moving on to the bronze to number three and coming in at number three the bronze spot the third on the grid the pole the the p3 like whatever you want to call it the number three we have this hop e170 now the reason this is so high on the list it's just because like air france and i have like I never flown on Air France. I don't know how Air France uh, how Air France works, but I, as most of you guys know, I am French, and Air France and I like we don't know each other, but we do still have a relationship. It's kind of weird. So I am really attached to this model. Uh, so that is the reason why it's so up. It's so high up there. Um, love the ERJ series, like all of their. E one seventies, E one nineties, E one seventy fives, E one E one ninety fives. All of these, I just love the mo these models. Uh, also, the hop livery is I just love the hop livery. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, don't have a lot to say except for the fact that it's amazing. Also, um, I'm not sure because I don't know which of my models are rare. I know that I have like probably two of them that are rare, at least two, but I rarely see anyone with this, with this model. For example, you take a look at any uh, any um, one to five hundred collectors uh, pages on Instagram, and you're like nearly guaranteed to not find this model. Uh, so, just to say, I don't know how many people have this model. So don't go judging like, oh, I have it. Oh, he does, he has it. Uh, stuff like that. I just don't know. I just think that it's rare because I rarely see any uh, anyone with this model. Uh, so that is why it's so high up in this list. So now moving on to silver, number two. And now coming in at silver, the second spot, the second on the podium, however you want to call it. We have, and you might be shocked with this one, but we have the British Airways... A350-1000. Now you might be thinking yourself. Have you not seen the Bungo Planes video. About the A350-1000 of British Airways. Yes I have. And about that like. The wings are kind of like yellowy. Uh, to me I don't see that the wings are yellowy. So. Uh, also like British Airways and I. Like as I said with the 787. Where we're kind of like attached, like 
we have this relationship or this um a350 my favorite aircraft so that's why it's on second uh uh on second place uh absolutely love this model i think it's unbelievable um the nose is i think accurate uh i don't know why so many people don't like this model uh, i think it's great but everyone has their thoughts i think it's great some other people think it's uh crap and some people think uh it's crap because it's great or whatever uh but yeah that's why it's so high up on this list um never actually saw an a350 1000 of british Airways. what well, uh, I've seen some, like when I'm in London, uh, they, when they turn to do their final approach for either 09 right or 09 left, I think it's 09, I'm not sure, but like, when they fly over London, like, the moment they turn f to do their short final, uh, it's just over my head, uh, so I have already seen uh, a British Airways A350-1000, but I ha I haven't seen a, like, close-up. Uh, so yeah, so that's why it's so high up on this list. We are now going to move on to the gold position, the P1 on the grid. Coming in at number one, the pole position, the, like, the winner of the, of all of my models, whatever you want to say, however you want to say it, we have... The Flybe E195 in the Welcome to Yorkshire livery. This model is absolutely gorgeous. Flybe liveries, I love them. The purple on it is just amazing. Uh, like also the white at the back, like it really does like a contrast. Like it kind of like changes. Like you have the dark side on one side, and you got the light side on the other. It's really, really nice. Uh, also, all of the bicycles, I don't know why, but like, they just look amazing. Um, I, I just don't have the words to say how amazing this model is. Uh, apparently, it was only made 1,000 times. Uh, so, I think we can call that a rare model. Uh, absolutely love this model. Um, don't know how to say that I love it, but it's just, like, amazing. Um, uh, so, yes, yeah, so I think that is going to wrap up this video. Uh, now, before I say goodbye, I did say that I was going to film the Q&A, um, uh, for this weekend's video. Uh, but, um, due to some random reasons, like, uh, I wasn't really in a mood to do the video, and I didn't have much time to do it. So I said, hey, you know what, why not do the um, top 10 now and do the Q&A um, next weekend. So, yeah. Uh, also, talking about videos, I will try and do, like, a video every weekend. So, for example, like, I'll make, like, uh, an airport update, a special video, airport update, special video, etc., etc., and when my final project is finished, I will do NTO, uh, airport update, then uh, new project, airport update, um, then a, um, a um, special video, and then to finish it off, I'll try with to do it with, um, I'll try to finish the month with an, up, an, an unboxing, sorry, it's kind of hard, an unboxing. Uh, but I'm not sure about this because, as you know, models are a little bit um, expensive. For example, this one. Well, I'm not going to say the price, but, like, it was not cheap. Uh, so, yeah. So, um, I think that is how I'm going to do it once I finish the um, um, my new project. So, I'll do... So, for now, seeing as my new project isn't finished... Um, I will do, um, airport update, special video, airport update, special video. So, next, uh, weekend, uh, I am still going to do a special, um, uh, what is it called? Special, uh, video. Then, I'll do, uh, two airport updates, and by then, I think I will be able to have an unboxing. But I am not sure, I am not making any promises. Uh, anyway, so yes, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. 
if you did please like subscribe and share um also uh we reached 114 subscribers so we are getting through these subscribers very fast so i want to thank all of you guys also on the latest unboxing where i where, where i unboxed the british airway 787 two air france's united and the giveaway uh, i don't know how but the video reached 400 views in three uh, days i presume also a lot of you guys are not subscribed so if you if you want to see more content like this please subscribe but i want to thank you for watching this video again please like subscribe and share and i'll see you guys in the next video bye